go. God is good. All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, beloved Michelle. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Um, as always, whenever we come together, I pray that, uh, number one, that Holy Spirit's anointing is already flooding his house. He sees your heart of worship, and I, I, I promise you, beloved God, that no matter what you're facing, our Father is greater. Amen? And he proves that greatness through his perfection in Lord Jesus Christ. And then it gets gooder and gooder. Because Lord Jesus Christ, being perfect as he is, being beloved as he is, being obedient as he is, he does the perfect work, Sister Laura. And he makes it gooder and gooder. Here's the abundant life. Holy Spirit living on the inside. Amen. So I pray tonight that what we're going to do in worship is going to it, it's going to be a little painful for some of us. Um, because what is required from Holy Spirit is not only your transparency, but say this with me, confession. confession. You see, without confession, there is no promise. May I say that again? Thank you for asking, Uncle. <laughs> Without confession, there is no promise. But with confession, Father will always give you what he promised. And we're going to get into tonight the anointing of that promise, Elder Howard. And in this promise, as far as how we can bless Father God, and how we can identify quickly the fallen ways of this world, the fallen ways of this culture, the fallen ways of religion, the fallen ways of Christianity. The, I mean, we're going to go into, into it pretty deep. We're going to go into it so deep that tonight I was rattled as far as putting this message together. And I thought that we were running with another message that I worked so hard for two hours straight. And the Holy Spirit said, nope, I don't want that. That was just for you. And of course, moments like that, I'm like, thank you, Father. You know, it's like cheerful heart, right? You know, you got to, you know, right? You got to choose to worship. If you're, if you, hear my heart, family. If you're waiting on the feeling to worship, it'll never come. But if you choose to worship, then the feeling will automatically come. Can I get an amen? Because you know what I'm saying? You're ridiculous. Start feeling like I'm special. Help me start feeling like, oh man, that, that's my jam. Oh yeah. Oh. But well, here's the question: What happens when the music is silent? What happens when there's no preacher in front of you? Now the conviction is: Where is? Your relationship with God. You see, and this is this is part of what I'm telling you. It's going to hurt a little bit. But I promise you tonight, if we can be transparent with the Lord and we ask Father God, help me. Let's all say that together. Help me, Lord. I believe with all my heart, He will help you. Amen. Did a rabbit run up on your left? Hey, Lundy got up. I'm just like, where are we going, you know? Don't start running. I'll run with you. I'll tell you right now. I'll run with you. Amen. So if y'all want to stand up and we're going to open up with prayer. Yeah, you can stand up. Well, we're just going to follow what the Holy Spirit's doing in you. So you got up. I'm like, all right, Holy Spirit, we're all just going to get up. Praise the Lord. And uh, I'm going to ask Sarge uh, to open this up in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to thank 
worship today, say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Ready? Amen. Praise God. Four people. This, this is a good start. So say this with me. Condemn. Condemn. And say this with me. Nation. Nation. We need to first get we need to first get this right. This is not our home. Let's get it. If y'all don't want to clap, I'm just going to do my own service for myself. Amen. I'm just going to preach.
the weight. Say that with me, the weight. The weight, the weight of condemnation. And that little, that little statue, if, if, if I had it a smaller picture, is barely, you know, on his knees, just barely carrying that boulder of condemnation, right? If you look at this, every one of those pictures, there was some type of judgment that took place that issued that condemnation. Can you hear an amen? amen? There was some kind of judgment. And when you receive that type of judgment, immediately what the enemy wants to do is to run rampant as, yeah, yeah, it's you. Look at you. You're the problem. You ain't never going to be right. You ain't never going to, you ain't never, you ain't never, right? The enemy tries to come at me that, like that now. I tell him, you ain't never going to make it. Amen. Seriously, well, the, enemy still, the enemy still tries. The enemy will still try. The cheat shots, I call them cheat shots. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. And those God. cheap shots, and the glory of God is when I hear those cheap shots from the enemy, Holy Spirit turns it right around and he says, speak it back. Speak it back to Satan and all the darkness that's trying to come at you. I pray in Jesus' name that some of you right now capture that for your house, for yourself. You don't have to be a punching bag for Satan any longer. Amen. You know why, Lord Jesus Christ, punch back. I think I just like waffles with my butter. 
Because Trish is like, how much butter do you got on that? I have to fill every square. Don't judge me. <laughs> if you ain't tried it yet, don't don't just right? I can just feel I can just feel the judgment right now. It's so, so sad, you know? Okay. We're just talking about waffles now. Right? There for a reason. See, if, 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 if we compromise a relationship with God, and then we have this version of the Bible that says there's no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus, hear my heart, family. Doesn't that tell me that I can do whatever I want? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I, I understand. See, you all are all anointed of Christ and Holy Spirit in you. So I know right now you're like speaking what Holy Spirit's saying. Let a brother preach, okay? Let a brother preach. All right, let's back this thing up. All right, let's back this thing up. This is how many of the versions of the Bible read. Therefore, Therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, period. So the question that Holy Spirit wants to plant right now so that we can worship together is if you read that statement, does that not say that I can eat my waffles and butter Every single day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and late dinner, because I do like eating late dinner. And even when Holy Spirit tells me, stop eating this, because your blood pressure's through the roof, and I'm trying to save your life, I can keep on eating because I have Jesus, and now there's no condemnation. Are we on the same page, family? Please wake up if you're here. Can I get an amen? If you read this statement, isn't it easy to say, Brother Darren, I can do whatever I want. Because it says right here that there's no condemnation. Are y'all feeling me? Let me ask you something. Let's make it good or good. How many of you, we don't judge nobody, we pray, right? Holy Spirit, listen. Holy Spirit, he charges us to pray for people. You see evil fruit, you see something that's not right, Listen, God's showing you because you saw the fruit and now you pray against it. Can you get an amen? Here's, here's what I'm asking you. Isn't it interesting that we live in a culture now that you can't separate Christians from the world? And guess what? They piggyback off this. There's no condemnation because I have Jesus Christ as my Lord. Are y'all hearing me? Yes. Y'all still love me? Yes. Because y'all have to crunch Because you guys know what's coming up next, right? Yes. All right, say it with me, caution. Caution. Now here's the caution, okay? Are you ready to re are you ready to read the remainder of it? Yes. Who do not walk according to the flesh. There's the red light, amen? amen. Say it with me, green light. Green say it with me, go. Go. But according to the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's give God praise. Amen. So let's 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 study this. Believe it or not, right now this is the only scripture that we're going to have on the screen because Holy Spirit said He wants to go through what He has for you, and then He wants me to go back to read the Word. And this is interesting because I haven't done this in years, but this is what the Holy Spirit wants. So bear with me, okay? So God says, thank you, Brother David, one person. So God says there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And we uncover the caution that there's more to them. Amen, Brother Will? There's more. There's more to it. Say it with me, there's more. And now we have it on the screen. And it's in my holy Bible, the New King James Version. That's what you guys got up here. The conclusion of that very first, very first line in Romans 8. That do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Amen. 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 So my question to you, beloved family, is what is your walk like with the Lord? Good or good. Huh? Good or good, beloved. Amen. Oh my goodness. You know what I love when a beloved daughter shares that 
they leave everything at this altar and their faithful and their relationship with God. And then I can see your beloved and look at the changes of the Holy Spirit in and through him. My brother, you don't even look the same in Jesus' name. Praise God, you're good looking, but I mean, you look younger. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> The new covenant church in action. You're walking in the spirit. You're living in the spirit. Amen. Here my heart family. Yeah, I'm a tongue speaker. Amen. I speak in my prayer language all the time. But you can ask my elder how many times have I rattled it off in front just to be a showboat. No, you know what? I fear God. I fear God. Amen. And that's my language with him. Hallelujah. Now, guess what? There's, there's religions and people that will judge me just you know why? Because they like to do that kind of thing. Hey, you go home, boo-boo. You do your thing, right? You worship God the way you worship, but work out your own salvation in fear and trembling. Don't be judging other people because we do things different. Amen? My point is this, is that you can easily walk after the flesh when you're telling God what you want to do. I'm glad you asked, Sarge. I want to answer that question. If you come at me and Holy Spirit is saying, you walk in love and you turn the cheek and you submit and you love that person, I hear all that, but what comes out of the temple is I cuss you back. Am I walking with the Spirit? I'm walking with the flesh. Right? So let me ask you this. Praise God. We're getting there, family. Hallelujah. Because Sarge asked a question. So listen. I need to be careful because I don't want to get locked up. <laughs> Praise God. Now here's, here's the beauty of how we're, we're worshiping together here. So if I lash out when Holy Spirit say, you love them. Even if you did not, you love them. And hear my heart, family. This is Holy Spirit's voice. No matter what somebody did to you, you forgive them, you love them. How dare you, Pastor? You don't know what I've been through. You don't know what that person did to me. You don't know what they did to him. I don't, but I know what he did. Hey. Can you get a Jesus Christ is Lord. 
And now the power of His presence, His Spirit, frees us, and we're no longer under the power of sin. Amen. We're under the power of His love, His grace, unto His Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Are y'all here? Praise God. Good and gooder? Hallelujah. Good and gooder. Praise God. Say it with me. Caution. Here's the caution right here. Flesh versus spirit. Because we're talking about the two. And praise God, the Holy Spirit really wanted to get this through. How many of you? Let's just bless the Holy Spirit in, in, in transparency and confession right now by a show of hands. How many of you have dealt with condemnation? And glory be to God, the Lord Jesus there. But how many of you already feel, we're not even halfway through the service now. How many of you already feel freedom and wisdom and anointing from Holy Spirit, right? Glory be to God. Me too. Hallelujah. And I thank Heavenly Father for this revelation. You see, when the flesh fights with the Spirit, this is what's happening, happening internally. A better picture to show is what we know from all these years. Amen? We know this from I Am Recovered, and we know this from all these years being rooted here at Open Arms Community Church. And what does this picture show? It shows you the Spirit, the Holy of Holies, Holy Spirit, who wants to have a relationship with you that he rightfully deserves. I had a man of God the other day just tell me, a man of God, I don't know if I can do this anymore. And so, hear my heart right now because I was on the phone with my wife saying, I don't know if I can do this anymore. And I had to put the phone, I had to put the phone down. And I just prayed. I'm not going to name it. And then I got back on that phone and I said, so you're telling me, and this is what Holy Spirit told me to tell him. Don't judge me. Talk to the Lord, okay? I said, so you're telling me that you want to give up knowing what Christ did for you. Knowing that his presence, his very breath is the one keeping you alive for eternity. But here you are telling me that God, I don't believe in none of that. And I'm done. And glory be to God for repentance, because he said, Oh, no, preacher, I didn't mean it like that. I just had a really long day. And I said, well, praise God that conviction has fallen upon you. Praise God that you realize, listen, I know you had a bad day, but there ain't no way we're giving up. Amen. You know why? Because he didn't give up. He didn't give up. He didn't give up. He didn't say, all right, stop the lashes. Right? He did it. He took it. And you know why he did it? For moments like that, and I told this beloved son that. I said, listen, man of God, you're a preacher. You just keep on doing it. But I, I, and I told him, I said, I hate to tell you this, but it ain't going to get any, any better as far as this world's concerned. But here's the beauty, family. Your life can be gooder and gooder. Amen. Say with me, it's a mindset. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. So when the flesh rises up, when these thoughts, that's what flesh is, when these thoughts. Now notice, notice that brain right there. In many of our worship services, that's your very soul. Amen? But did we not already uncover through Holy Spirit in how he taught us that the spiritual warfare that's taking place is right here? If you could change your mindset, if you're not grateful, if you're not thankful, spend five minutes with our elder, elder help. I promise you in Jesus' name, the anointing of God, well, you'll see it not only in him and how he speaks, but you will feel God's presence and he will convict you. Amen? I promise you, you talk to that man. You talk to that man. Every opportunity that you can. You see, family, this is why we're all here. It's not just for us to punch the clock and go, there, I'm here on a Wednesday. Preacher, you better be good. Okay, bye. See you Sunday. No. Get to know each other. Hallelujah. Love on somebody, right? Get in somebody's business. Praise God. It's always the ones that don't want to get in, you know, it's always the ones that don't talk to people. Or they're the ones that's always like, well, those people, they don't want to talk to me. What? How do you even know you even Thoughts. When we allow, 
remember, buttered waffles, right? It's the only thing I can think of, family. So just help me out, right? And I know the Holy Spirit said, you better stop eating that. But then guess what? All I think is for David. Oh, man, you know? Yeah, just put butter in every square. You get that syrup. I don't even use a plate when I eat a waffle. I use a bowl. That's how much syrup. All right, get right. Get right. Michelle, you ain't helping right now. Brother Darren, lay hands on her real quick, man. Praise, praise God. Hallelujah. But check this out. When I know, and say it with me, I know. I know. Hey, listen, family. Let's do it real cute for the Lord. Amen. Go like this. I know. I know. Amen. That's right, you know. You're covered by his blood, and he lives inside of you. I know you know. When his voice tells me, you need to stop that. I'm saving you. Guess what? It's those moments that, yes, the enemy, it just happened yesterday, guys, with this buttered waffle thing. That's why Holy Spirit's telling me to tell you this. It just happened, yes. It's amazing, you know, because I, I go through the frozen section at Walmart, and he would think it's a bunch of dirty movies because I'm like this. I don't want to look at buttered waffles. You know what I mean? I'm just walking, you know, it's like, I can't look at this. Uh, Brother Mike, I'm like, I can't look at it, you know? You know why? I don't want to have it in here. But when, but when it comes, when the thought comes, am I going to entertain that thought? Am I going to start walking with that thought? You see, family, what God is trying to do is to protect you, to protect your marriage, to protect your relationships, to protect your children, and you speak this anointing and and, 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 and guiding them. Because I'm telling you right now, if I allow myself to dwell on that thought, guess what happens? Darkness starts to enter. And I'm going to tell you right now, Satan and all the demons, they respect Holy Spirit life. Amen. And they can look at it. Listen, you guys need to see this. All of hell knows who you are. And they hate it. You know why? Because you're covered by the blood of God. They hate it even more because the greater one lives inside of you. Can I get a hallelujah? They hate it even more because his power and glory is life is inside of you. Amen? Hallelujah? So guess what? When all the demons look at you, they're, they're shuddering because they're like, dang it. You know, so bright, like a star. Amen? Say it with me, I'm a star. Right? Yeah, you are. You're his star. You're the twinkle in God's eye. And I pray you receive that right now. Say it with me. I'm a twinkle. I'm a twinkle. In God's eyes. In God's eyes. Amen. Doesn't it just feel good to say? You're the twinkle in his eye. Twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> oh, I wonder. How you gonna wonder what it is when you just said it's a story? <laughs> <laughs> So the question is this, is Joey going to keep thinking of waffles? Or, I hear Holy Spirit, and in the worship intimacy with Holy Spirit, he reveals to me that that very thing will put me in the ground. And I give thanks to Holy Spirit. And I say, Holy Spirit, forgive me because I don't want to dwell on these carnal thoughts. I don't want to dwell on things like this. And so now Holy Spirit tells me, every time you think or see waffles, you just thank me. So now I think of it and I said, you know what, thank you, Father God, that you delivered me from the buttered waffles. Thank you, Father God, that you know. And guess what happens? It doesn't just work, family, with buttered waffles. I'm going to preach to you right now. You ready? It works when the devil puts a lady who has hardly any clothes on to try to flirt with you. Am I preaching to you now? It works. It works when someone that you're ministering to smells and reeks of alcohol and you were an addict for 15 years and, and you used to drink like a fish. You see, this buttered waffles isn't just buttered waffles. It's showing you how the enemy tries to infiltrate this. And he tries to reduce your identity to submit to that very thing that he's trying to control you with. But the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ is we have the ability 
the ability to take hold of that very thought and say, Father, I thank you for Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank you, Father God, that you crucified this thought. And Father, I choose to dwell on you. I choose to dwell on your goodness. I choose to dwell on your power. I choose to dwell. Because the beauty is when you do this, remember, it's a choice. Say when it's a choice. It's a choice to worship. If you're waiting on the feeling, guess what? You need it. You need to get right with God. Because there's going to be some times where you can't get to the radio. There will be some times you can't make it to church. And now it's like, oh, buttered waffles, buttered waffles, buttered waffles, buttered waffles, buttered waffles. What? Rebuke that.
Christ. Amen? Amen. So my question to you is, is it all nailed to the cross? Amen. See, there's some of us, and praise God, Mama K asked the question to repeat it again. There's some of us that are holding on to garbage. You may think that you have no unforgiveness in you, but Holy Spirit just brought it up in you. Just like that, Holy Spirit brought it up. You have unforgiveness in your heart. You need to let that go. That's the same thing, beloved son, beloved daughter of God. That's the same thing. There's some of us right now that you can't forgive something that you've done when, when, when you were a, a teenager. There's some of you that you just hold on to a lot of anger and hurt. And Father God saying, I see that as sin. Well, Father, Daddy, I thought it was my right. I forgave the person. I told you that I forgive him, but the Father God says, no, but you're blocking a blessing. You're blocking me flowing through you. you. You remember that picture? You boarded up that door, but you labeled it condemned. And Father God says, you're not condemned anymore. You're forgiven. Amen. 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 I want to flow for you. Amen. Will you let it flow for you tonight? Amen. Because, see, I want to tell you right now, the enemy wants you to think that you'll never be good enough. You'll never be worthy enough. You'll never get there. You'll get, right? That's the devil. The devil wants to keep reminding you right now. You know how you shut the devil up? You're right. You're right, Satan. That's why I have Lord Jesus. Oh, come on now. Oh, it's that easy. Lord, it's that easy, family. Hallelujah. The, listen. The, 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 the most horrible demon of all demons, if I can say that, Satan himself, will try to come at you that way. And when you just stand firm as who you are, and you're like, you know what, you're right. Well, praise God, I died in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God, I died in Jesus. Because, see, he wants to trick you to condemn yourself in unforgiveness, maybe anxiety, maybe worry. There's some people here dealing with anxiety. That's a sin. God says, don't be anxious for anything. Amen. Amen. Trust in him. Hallelujah. What does anxiety bring to you? Does anything good come out of it? Let me ask you that question, amen? Some of y'all just got crunchy talking about anxiety. So let me just ask, what good comes out of anxiety? Amen. Nathan, I have never met no one that is full of anxiety and he's walking around. Yeah. Oh, man, man, man. Everything's great. Hallelujah. Right? No. Anxiety, worry, torment does this to the temple of God. Preacher, I just don't know why. I just don't know why. I just don't know why. Yeah, you do. Don't come at me like that. Don't come at me like that. Yeah, you do. You know exactly why. It's time to make a choice. Will we make that choice tonight? Will we nail every bit of condemnation? Will, will, we, will we lay it down at the altar? Amen. Because self-condemnation, this is all it does. It makes you a prisoner of your own mind. How many been there? Hey, would you not agree? That's a nasty place. Yeah. That is a demonic place. And guess what? It's just a pity party. Huh? Have you ever tried to throw a party by yourself? <laughs> that's, that's just pitiful. Right? Listen, and in Jesus' name, none of y'all in this room ever have to throw a party by yourself. You invite me and we'll have a party. Amen? Amen. Lord God is if I can't make it, guess what? There's always one in attendance with you. Amen. Hallelujah. And he will never let that happen in Jesus' name. Amen. So the question remains, Pastor, how do I live this life of abundance that Lord Jesus Christ promised me? How do I live a gooder and better life? How do I overcome this condemnation from the enemy or the condemnation that we live in? How do I overcome? How? Pastor, tell me how. We're going to make it real simple. And we got pictures to help. Yay! We got a pop-up book. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. How many of y'all got pop-up books back Woo. Do they still make those? <laughs> yes. They do? I love pop-up books. Oh, I remember when I was little and it was a dinosaur book. And I can remember <laughs> to this day. And I didn't know what was going to happen. And I, I remember my uncle saying, hey, get over here, check this out. And he opened that book and that dinosaur came up off the page. And it was like the greatest moment of my life. And you all know, we're a tight family. You all know my upbringing. There wasn't that much to be happy about. But man, did that Tyrannosaurus 
Pastor Rex blessed me that day. And I'm praying in that same anointing as a child. That when you see this on the screen, in this pop-up book, that God Almighty will bless you because this is what's going on on the inside of you. And he will clear out any condemnation that the enemy has tried to deceive you with. Amen? Amen. How do we live this abundant life, Pastor? I'm glad you asked, beloved. Number one, we have to know. And say this with me. Father, God loves me. Say it like you mean it. Father God loves me. Father God loves me. Say it with authority. Father God. Father God. Loves me. Loves me. Amen. We have to know that without a shadow of doubt. Because I promise you, the moment that leaves the holy temple of God through faith in the word, 2 Corinthians 4.13, I believe that Father God loves me. So in the spirit of faith, I'm going to speak it. I'm going to release it into the atmosphere. You can't see my words, but what my words are doing is blessing my God, and my words are going out, going on assignment from God to take care of business for God and to God, and it's going to come back bringing a blessing of a hundredfold in Jesus' name. We wait 
waiting for things to happen to us and we wait for that experience to hit us so hard that that experience triggers a reaction and the reaction, believe it or not, is even deeper worship than we ever gave God. Did that make sense to you? Because there's, there's many of you that are just staring at me and I'm not trying to be rude but you guys are just like, my question is, why are we going to wait for those events? Why can't we choose now? I want to bawl my eyes out. I want to be completely broken for you, Lord. Because I promise you, when you can worship God that way, Father sees your heart and He reads every tear. And He knows what the tear says, because it's His love story. But my question is, is that if we can't get there, He's not going to make you. He's God Almighty and He loves you. He's head over heels in love with you. Amen? Let's stand up on our feet. Praise God. All hands lifted up. Hallelujah. Complete surrender. Say it with me. Here I am. Here I am. Heavenly Father, we are yours for eternity. Lord Jesus Christ, you are our Savior, and we are your body. We are unified in your Holy Spirit, Father. We thank you for your word. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence, for you are the teacher, not me, Father. And I thank you, Father God, that you love us so much. <laughs> and I'm so thankful, Father God, for moments like this in your conviction, where there is no condemnation, because Holy Spirit, all we want to do is walk with you. And you have nothing to do with that. And Father God, I ask for your forgiveness when I either make a hard left or right. Father God, I thank you that you break me, that you rebuke my pride and change me, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, bless us. And Father, I declare boldly that as your beloved children, take that breath, that Holy Spirit, your presence, anoints them in the double portion. And Father, when they step out to come to your altar, that the chains, the boards, the weight, every bit of condemnation breaks off to them in Jesus' name. And all God's beloved.